said, we are at the, not exactly halfway point, but the fourth world. So after we're done with this video, we'll be at the halfway point. So yeah, this is Grape Garden, the Sky World. I don't really know what you would classify Butter Bridge as, but Grape Garden really has nothing to do with the garden. More or less, it's the Sky World. I think it was from VeggieTales, so... Yeah, I was fighting the Veggie Tales as a kid. So. I don't like it anymore. But I remember that. I remember some of the songs. And what what a great way to start off the video, just the death. Yep, that's a great way. And it's also a great way to start the video. Your mom's interrupting. I mean, not your mom, but my mom. <laughs> yeah, I figured. Uh, she asked me if I wanted pizza. Pizza? Yeah. They give us the convenience of this ability, so we can make it to the door! The beam right. is great. beam is good in this game. I don't really like it much in other games, but in this game it's good. Mm, yeah, I didn't really like it in other games either. There are some games that just didn't translate well into other versions. The beam ability is sadly one of those. The cutter ability is pimped out in other games though. Yeah, especially in Return to Dreamland, like, uppercuts mm. and... Well, because when you get close to it... in that game, it actually does like it fucking Smash Bros moves on them. Yeah, it's it's brutal. <laughs> it's brilliant. It's brutally brilliant. Ah, I just made alliteration <laughs> again. Where do you think this fat fuck floated in from? <laughs> uh, we're geniuses. So is Sakurai. Sick. He made the. What was the, what was the last Kirby game he made? I believe it was Air Ride. Air Ride? Really? Yeah, hmm. I believe so that was he, the last. So he made basically all of them up until that game. Yep, I think Air Ride was the last Kirby project he worked on. Did he make it? Is he like producer on the other ones nowadays or no? Uh, I don't think he's involved with any of the other ones, sadly. Huh. Too bad. Well, I guess he just wanted to go work on different games. Because the only thing he- the thing he worked on after that, he worked on Brawl, which yeah. started in, like, late 2005. So that game took forever to develop. Yeah. But, um... It's then, got delayed, like, times. And then he did Kid Icarus Uprising, which was, yet again, an amazing game as well. And then... Smash. He stole. And then Smash He's still 4, working he's still on that Smash 4. And yeah. here's something I'm gonna br I'm gonna bring up, which I brought up earlier, but not in a recording. Um, if any of you didn't notice, Kirby's inhale sound effect for his special move in Smash uses the 8-bit sound effect, which is pretty cool, because it's never really done that before. Hmm. I wonder if um, they'll use... Like, you know how, like, in every Smash game, you usually use, like, Donkey Kong's, like, actual, like, realistic girl effects for Donkey Kong? Yeah. In most Smash games, I wonder if they'll actually keep, like, the person from, uh, like, the DKC games to actually <laughs> keep the stuff this time. It'd be great. It's like how we were talking about earlier with Billy Mays as an announcer. <laughs> Billy Mays would be the best Smash announcer. The only other person I could see beating him is Bill Nye. <laughs> yep. Surprised Scott has nothing to say on that subject. It'd be funny if Pat Cashman, the announcer for Brawl, actually asked to Bill Nye to be the announcer. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Pat Cashman was the that'd last be, one. That'd be great. Bill Nye! I remember reading the uh, names for the other two announcers, but I forgot what the, who they were. Well, the one who's. Whoever's doing the Smash Bowl one sounds like the guy from 64, so. I wonder what the laugh from Master Hand is gonna sound like this time. Uh, I didn't really like his laugh in Brawl, to be honest. The other, the other two were a lot more intimidating. Or I guess there was only one. I don't remember the Smash 64 Master Hand having one. Yeah, I don't think he did. I know Melee did. Oh yeah, I know Melee did. And I wonder what the requirements this time are gonna be for Crazy Hand. Because as you know, there's not really a set difficulty. It's kind of like Kid Icarus Uprising with the intensity levels, you know, the uh, 1 through 9. Yeah. Well, it's like level 1, level 2, level 3. Yeah, I wonder how that's gonna be. I think it'll be like, random comms. 
Who knows? We'll find out. Yeah, we will. Once the game comes out, it's getting close to its month. Too close, and yeah, it seems so far away. Oh my God. Yeah, for the 3DS version. Well, probably it might be different for the Wii U version. So. Yeah. Everything about the 3DS version and Wii U versions are pretty much different. Except for the characters ones. Characters, gameplay, similar. Stages and everything else, though. Those are really different. Yeah. I don't know, I think the games will be uh, fairly, you know, soccer. So, as long as he works on As long as he works on them, I'm sure they'll be good. I actually wonder, you know, the fun thing is, like, wondering what he'll work on next. So. Yeah. Says he doesn't want to work on Kid Icarus again, which is yeah. sad. That, yeah, that is sad, because that game deserves a sequel. I really hope they do give it a sequel. There's only been two Kid Icarus Uprising games in the past. Uprising was Kid the Icarus. third one. There was two Kid Icarus Uprising games in the past? Well, Gary, I didn't know No, that. no, 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 I said, <laughs> I said uh, there were two Kid Icarus... Did I say Uprising? Yeah, you did, did say I... Kid Icarus Uprising. Wow, I meant to just say two Kid Icarus games in the past. Yeah, there was the Game Boy one, there was the NES one. And then there was Uprising as the third one. <laughs> there, now we got that right. Yeah. And, he, and he's also in both Smash Bros. So obviously Sakurai likes him. So. Wasn't he going to be in 64? Yeah, he wanted him in 64, but due to... Uh, since they couldn't fit very many characters into the game at the time, they were like, you know... Actually, I think they had trouble with his, you know, flying animation and stuff like that, from what I read. Well, there was also a whole bunch yeah, of other games that they couldn't fit into, so that might like, also uh, be one of the reasons. Like, uh, DDD, I know they wanted him in there. <laughs> and didn't they want- I, I don't know if this is true, but didn't they want Meow- uh, Meowth in there as well? Yeah, but I think that's kind of like- I think it was would have been like a Jig Jigglypuff-esque thing because Pokemon was just so popular, so they're just like, oh, just add a random one in, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Kids will eat it up. So. And don't we know it's Sakurai that gets to choose what Pokemon goes in there, right? Because uh, like in the actual game, like the Pokeball Pokemon. No, the playable Pokemon. Well, Sakurai, I believe they. I I think it's a team, and they just go down the list of who they want in the game. Yeah, because so. I remember reading that they chose Greninja based off, you know, early designs. Well, yeah, because this game was in development after Icarus came, Kid Icarus came out, so... I hope you guys do not hear that work outside, but you probably do. I can't. For sure. Sure. Scott, can you hear it? Nope. Oh, okay. It's pretty loud on my end. You can't hear it, that's a good thing. Yay. This boss was what annoying. What do you think is Sakurai's best game? Oh. <laughs> Sakurai's best game, Melee. <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah. Melee. <laughs> One of the Smash games, definitely. Kid Icarus goes up there, though. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what's your favorite Sakurai game? Skip. Melee. Melee. Good. <laughs> And then there's those people that think, uh, Smash 4 is gonna be Melee. No. What now? There's always people that think, uh, that Smash 4 is gonna beat Melee, and obviously it won't. Probably. It's gonna beat Melee? You know, be better than Melee. That's what I mean. Uh, I don't know. I think it'll be, uh... I'm sure, like, it just depends, because, like, there was just so much work that went into Melee. Like... And they wanted to make the deadline of the GameCube launch. So, they kind of did, but... Wasn't it? It came out, like, only a few weeks after, right? Yeah, December 3rd, 2001. So, yeah, they, they, they got out there, and the GameCube came out November 18th, I think. Yeah, and fun fact, Brawl was supposed to come out exactly six years after Melee. But... It's supposed to come out on the same day? Yeah, December 3rd, 2007, but it got delayed. Three times, I think. Yeah, three times. Silence is golden. Josh? Oh, Josh Roth. Oh no. Um. There's something else Josh? I'm back. I All thought right. this. I thought this was gonna be like my let's wait for a second. Yeah, yeah, you just, no. You, you just left and dropped. And, I dropped. Oh no, she dropped. But uh, yeah, sorry. Um, I don't forget what I was saying. I I do too. 
But hey, another Meta Knight. Were you, were you saying something, Scott, before I came in? Because I thought I heard you. Uh, I just thought that I should have stopped recording, but get back to Oh no. It's fine. If I drop, then just keep going. I'll rejoin back. But uh, yeah, another Meta Knight fight. That's all good and dandy. I don't know. How, how far are we in the video? Uh, 10 minutes and 43 seconds. Dang, girl. There's nothing really to say right now. What? I said there's nothing really to say right now. I kind of. Yeah, right. We know we're basically everything about this game. Oh boy. <laughs> we, I, I, all I remember is that we were talking about Smash, and then you dropped, and now I just completely forgot everything. Yeah, I completely forgot what we were talking about. <laughs> I think I, yeah, okay, good. I beat the level. I was getting close to dying. Oh boy, that would have made me angry. Um, what, what are we talking about now? <laughs> Um, well, this game came out in 91, right? Oh, yeah, we, oh, no, Kirby's Adventure came out in 93. I thought, yeah, I was like, 91 or 93? Because, uh, Dreamland came out in 92, I think June 92? So. And there's that whole debate between, like, Miyamoto and Sakurai on Kirby's color, the, like, True, or was that just a rumor? Uh, no, I think that was true, but who knows? I don't, know. I, I don't think I could imagine Kirby being yellow, but that's probably no. I can't either. But he does have a yellow color in Smash, so there we go. Miyamoto got his wish. Eventually. Wait. You know, Miyamoto is such a hunky-dory guy. He's always happy. <laughs> always. Man, I wonder, like, I wonder what the next Kirby game is gonna be, like, the actual, like, platforming, transforming copy ability. Yeah, game. I hope they make two Kirby games for the Wii U, that'd be nice. Mm -hmm. Well, they made two for the Wii, so, I mean, nothing's impossible. Yeah, they did. Epic Yarn. I forgot about that. <laughs> that was a really Kirby game, just like how this one is coming out, but it's not really a Kirby game, but it's Kirby. Yeah, I mean, wait, you can't inhale in the new one, can you? No, it's no. just purely, like, making drawing rooms for Kirby, basically. Yeah. You know, if you like that stuff. At least you can die. <laughs> Fair enough, and Kirby's Epic Yarn, that was not an option. They wanted to make sure that you lived. And just they, lived. they wanted to make sure you beat the game. I did beat that game once. I haven't, I've never beaten it more than I, I, I beat the fi I beat the final boss, but I didn't do those extra levels. I was like, I don't really care. There were extra levels? I think, yeah, there were like a few more levels after the final boss. I might have to actually go back and I see I think there were like that. three or four more, but I never did those just because I didn't want to. Yeah. Here comes Krakow. Yay, Krakow. You said you had problems with this guy? I did when I did when I played this the first time. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. But now he's really easy for me. Mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, he's basically all you gotta do is just. This first part is like a sequence to the boss battle, basically. Yeah. And then all you do is just high jump into his cloudy mist. Does he have two phases or no? Am I thinking about um, I I think he has two different phases in uh triple deluxe, but not here. Cause I know he's in like triple deluxe, really. I think he does, yeah. Yeah, he had two phases in uh, Dreamland too. Uh, okay, two, two here. Maybe, or maybe he doesn't, I don't know. I think this is the first game he came in. Yeah. So, uh, you know, Cause I think Kirby's Dreamland 1 had completely different bosses. Nope, yep, okay. Only for one face this time. Alrighty. <laughs> they had like, low la low and la la la. I think uh, it, it that... Had, it, oh, it had that boss in it too. Oh yeah, Lolo Lolo, we're in Dreamland 1, I believe. And then they had that bomb boss, one of the turret guys. Yeah. It was annoying, some little bit. Yeah. Hey, the video's done. 
<laughs> I didn't even notice how he finished the world. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, I was going. To... Uh, so that was Grape Garden. We will see you all for the fifth world, the Yogurt Yard. Yep. Yeah. Um. Bye. I guess. Well, see you next part. <laughs> well, you. Yeah.